right now. Good morning, Dark Sizzle Nation. It is a beautiful morning. I have been up for what seems like hours already. Sun is just coming up. It's not officially sunrise yet, but today I am fishing with Team Control Chaos here out of the Lake Worth Inlet in Florida. And we are fishing the fourth annual Anglers for Cure Tournament. And I'm really excited. There's about 85 boats registered, I believe. I'm rigging up a live bait, as you can see. Live God going out on the line that's going to have a weight on it. And we are going to be buck trolling this morning. But this particular tournament, this tournament in particular actually benefits prostate cancer, which is really cool to be involved in that. And as you guys know, my dad is battling prostate cancer right now. So I'm excited, 6.30, line's in, and we're just sending out our baits right now. So I've got my bait out about 30 feet, and I'm gonna add a six ounce weight, six ounce, six ounce weight to him so he gets down there in the water column. Nice and tight, and I'm going to basically send out this particular bait really far back. Basically until I feel that weight hit the bottom, and then I'm going to lock up the drag, so it's way, way back there. Is that a fish? Yeah. What about yeah. it now? Am I really? Yeah, really Hey, Scotty, help Darcy. Or fish on! Go over the top of Darcy. Okay. Right Already got eight. Come on, half a half a game. I didn't feel that. I didn't oh, feel that. You got eight on the run. I didn't even feel that. I was that was dead weight all the way in. I thought that honestly that fish was swimming in the boat the whole time, but unfortunately I think when he took those first major runs, that's when he got eight. The sharks have been terrible out here where we fish, we've been fishing lately. And that was a solid kingfish, so. That's pretty disappointing. Frisky bait. Very frisky. Come on. Get the top lines out. We got the first fish up in the boat, which is awesome, in one piece. My fish is a fish as well, but he was mutilated and he's not gonna count in this tournament. So that first fish was caught by Scott, and who else is on the boat today is Captain James and his wife Kim, and then we also have Scott and his wife Mariah, and then we've got Joey and of course Brian the cameraman who is holding the camera right now. So we got a good crew with us today. Excited that we've already got a couple fish, nice couple bites and it might just be turning on as the sun starts coming up, so this is good. The ribbon. Get them all up. Solid fish on. Just hit our ribbon fish that we had out, which is one of the deepest baits, and Scott is hooked up again. So hopefully we can get this to the boat. Want him? Put him in the boat, dude. Yeah. I want to get the rig out of his mouth. This is the little fella. He's a big old ribbon fish. Yeah. We got a fish on. We basically had a bunch of hits on the top. Now we got a hit on the bottom rod here. This was a live goggle eye that was out. There he is. There he is. Got him. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it, grab it. Oh, what are you guys doing? Yeah, we both just got hooked. I got it in the chest, Scott, you got it in the hand. Scott, I know you got hooked, but do you want to talk about it? I only got hooked because I grabbed the fish. He got the big J through his hand. I don't know, Kim. Got it, now that makes sense. I guess Scott initially got hooked when that fish came in the boat with the J hook, and when that happened, Scott, I mean, I'm sorry, James hugged the fish to stop it, to control it from the shaking so it wouldn't, you know, injure Scott any longer. But then in the meantime, that happening, James got hooked in the chest. <laughs> but, but, hey, I will say this. That was, that was my fault because I tried to grab the damn fish like an idiot. <laughs> All right, let's go. On the rhythm. Ah! 
I hooked him right in the eyeball. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, and we have got a bunch of bites so far this morning, which is a great sign. I had that one fish sharked, and then we just caught a bunch of other fish. So they're in the boat. We're sending out lines again. And basically, we have four lines out with live baits, a mixture of blue runners as live bait and live goggle eyes. And basically, two are on flat lines on the outriggers, so that's right on the surface. And then we got two on the down below the surface, one with a six ounce egg weight and one with a 12 ounce egg weight to disperse the where they sit in the water column. So that way we're not gonna get lines tangled and also we can cover more of the water column and, and basically get the bites where the fish are sitting and hanging out. So just waiting for them to send out the flat lines and then we got a system to let out all the lines. So I'm just waiting. All right, time to go. Oh, I know, but that thing went straight up right down. Good shot. Two doubled up. First time of the day. There he is. Come on. Just holding this line out of the way so Scotty could reel in that top line that just went off. And it was really cool that Kingfish actually skied. Now I'm hooked up on a fish. It just felt like. I don't so have fish anymore. Gonna... Totally lost that fish. Not sure what happened. That drag really wasn't that tight at all. So that's unfortunate. Mm, you grab it, that yeah. and spin it there you go, it's gone. Sharks. I'm almost on full lock. Sharked again. Ooh. Time for another land shark. Yes, that's the kind of shark I like. <laughs> it's a land shark. Fins up. Fins up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that it? There's a smoke. All right. All right, still taking drag over here. Getting the boat turned around. That one was on a 12 ounce weight, so it was further down, the furthest down in the water column as we were bump pulling there. And that was a nice big live goggle eye. Hey, did you put it in reverse or no? Woo! Yeah! You better have a nice one! Much bigger upgrade. Okay. I feel good now. I feel good now. At least the 25, I'm guessing right now, 25 pounds. Beautiful fish. On the live gog, that was a beautiful gog. That was how you had a feeling he was going to get hit. I just let him out five minutes before we caught that fish. That's awesome. Well, we need it. That's what's up. right there. We needed that. Yeah, it's foul hook to the side of the So scared of those sharks there at the end. And that last one or two runs he just did and went right under the boat like 50 feet. I'm like, no. I was just so scared to see a shark at any instant bite him in half. So we really got lucky on that, for real. Woo! Stud. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Morning. Flat line going out. It wasn't a bad flat. Just showed up at the dock. We had about like 30 minutes left for the last of the weigh-in, um, and there's a certain time frame you need to be there. So I think I believe it closes at 4 p.m. We are here with our fish, walking up with my fish, biggest fish of the day. We're gonna get it weighed. We heard some good news on the uh, leaderboard right now that the biggest kingfish might be like 16 or 17 pounds. So we're gonna see. I'm excited. Let's go. Look at this.
this one for you? I don't have a beer yeah. hand. Or a fish hand. Thank you. Oh, I will keep this one closed. For Life of a fisherman. Yeah. Feel dirty at all times, wear disgusting shirts, and have your hands disgusting and drink land shark lager. Perfect. You gotta phone a friend to have her open it for you. Yeah, and the key to success there was Kim's clean fingers. Teamwork makes the dream work. Cheers! Exactly. Yeah. I think you might be late. Yeah? I just want to do it. I want to take a picture with you because on Instagram, you know, you got to put it on Instagram, then you then actually real. have a picture with a good looking guy. Yeah! <laughs> 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 might be good with this one. Yeah, Darcy. Pictures for Leonard. Heading back to the boat to put our fish we just weighed in back on ice because it's super hot out here. Um, but uh, it's exciting. We weighed in that fish 25.5 pounds officially on the scales, and that currently puts me in first place as fishing goddess um, in the female category, which is pretty cool. But for the main category, I think it's uh, the fishing gods. What's up? <laughs> um, which is the fishing god category, which is like the main category everybody fishes. There's already a couple fish up there bigger than my kingfish. So it's not looking good for the, like, the overall main category, but looking good for the ladies category. And it, the weigh-in is closing real soon. So we're going to see. We are back home. It is officially the next day after the tournament, and the results are we did not place. But there was a lot of great fish weighed in. It just it was an, overall, it was a fun tournament, and of, of course, I wasn't cool even there hanging out. I was with gonna say maybe we didn't have our lucky charm. Yes, <laughs> but we did catch a ton of fish out there. So hopefully, you guys will see Megan in upcoming videos. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting her to be in my videos. Um, just the last couple trips we went on didn't work out for her. So, um, but hopefully, you guys will see her really soon back in action. Need to get her back on reeling in fish and all that good stuff, becoming a fisherman like me. So guys, make sure you are subscribed, hit the bell notification so you receive updates when our new videos are posted. And check out all the links down in the description below if you'd like. I've got merchandise to sell, fish hook and anchor bracelets, multiple d different colors. What's your bracelet? Um, it's on her anklet. She has, oh. she has it as an anklet. <laughs> yeah, so you can wear it as an anklet, as a bracelet. Child adult size is available. Dozens and dozens of paracord colors to choose from. So check it out if you want to support the channel. Of course, t-shirts and all that great stuff. So guys, thank you for watching. Until my next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on catching. All right, guys, we're putting our hair down. All right, what do I need to mention that we didn't place or whatever? Yeah, mention that we didn't place. They're, they're already started, so you better hurry up. Are you going to be oh, in this? Look at these two beautiful girls. You guys see this? Are you going to be in it? I'm in it right now.